Hello everyone, this is Stevio here, and we are back running around in our new little gator. Alright, see this? Yep, our oats are ready. I know, I know, I know. We actually planted around the bales because me and Farm Boy were in such a rush, we couldn't even finish picking up the bales before we had to plant this stuff. It was so late, we had to mud it in. I know, we're going to have to harvest around it. I'm sorry, I know, I, I should be a better farmer. But as you see, uh, our oats are ready, and we don't even really have a harvester. If you remember, we did pick up a gleaner harvester, but it needs a lot of work. A lot of the parts are back-ordered on. I can't even really get all the parts in soon enough to actually be able to harvest in time, because otherwise... That, them oats are ready. The cattle, yeah, got to get them into the bin. They're ready. It's the heat of the summer. We need to seriously consider picking up another harvester. I do have a few options. First, I need to go pick up a new Dimco trailer for you know what. So I actually do have a few options in mind to go pick it up. That cab over, we need to get a trailer for that so we can use it for harvesting. We still have the Kenworth here. You guys got to see this. This is a beautiful sight in here. Look at all this yumminess in here. All this eye candy. We got the 8RX. We got the new. We got the old. And we got the old harvester. Yep, still waiting on parts. I don't think I'll be able to use that, at least for the summertime. It's the heat of the summer. It's getting hot out there, boys and girls. We got the 4020 tucked here in the back here with the international harvester. Put all back in nice and neat. Man, I just love looking at that stuff. So pretty. I can't actually wait for this. Man, do I love how this thing sounds. Oh, man, gives me goosebumps. It sounds so good. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Guess we didn't wait for the air to uh, pump up here. But we're going to go pick up a Demco trailer. think it'll look great on this truck. Man, we'll be the envy of the whole neighborhood around here. All our neighbors, Grant. Jake, Austin, probably even Farm Boy, but Farm Boy will definitely get to drive it. Of course, we got to wake Grant up. You over there? He never honks back. I, I'm kind of disappointed. Is anybody around? Yeah, no cop, no stop. I know. Don't do what I do. Just do what you're supposed to. Hey, uh, you gotta show Buck some love here. Sorry, Buck. Forgive me. All right, so we're going over here to Jim Bob's. Jim Bob has a pretty good little farm setup over here. I'm kind of a little uh, jelly. I'm jealous, that's for sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do we have there? Hmm. Hmm. Yep, that's, I believe that's our trailer right there. Ooh, wow. Don't think Grandpa's truck ever looked so good. Oh my goodness. Am I impressed. Man, do I like that look. Hmm, speaking about look good. Everyone here knows I have a special part of my heart that just bleeds these silver cedars. I love gleaners. I grew up in gleaners, and I guess every... I just I just think a gleaner, to me, a lot of people look think they look like a lunchbox, but to me, they're memories. Man, do I like this McDawn airhead here. That is a good-looking airhead. Wow, I've never seen a McDawn with one of these built in, too. Looks about like a 35 foot. We got an R75 here with duels on it. Hmm, 
raises up that head really nice. Oh man. Oh man. I think we are gonna have to talk to Jim Bob. I don't know. That thing is a very clean looking rig. I think it looked nice on our farm. If you see that uh, J&M bank here, that's actually the one we were looking at on our farm. We didn't end up purchasing it. It was too much money. But uh, Jim Bob, he has a big old wallet, if you know. So I think uh, maybe I he might be thinking about upgrading the harvester. All right, let's get in here. Head on back to the farm. Uh, yeah. I decided to drive this home. And holy cow, it's kind of hard driving something when you have to stare through a giant reel. Yep, yep. And it's really hard. I mean, a 35-foot head isn't that bad to drive down a country road. But man, does it get a little bit challenging. And this thing barely fits through my little uh, gate here, or my driveway. Yeah, that's, that was tight. Oh, tight. Alright, shut that off. Alright, park that right by the old garage here. Yep. Hmm. It just looks at home now, doesn't it? Yes, we brought you home there, buddy. Alright, so if you probably haven't noticed yet, maybe because I have everything pushed nicely tight away into my garage here the Steiger's missing so you know I've been saying hey I'm gonna put big floater 800s on there yes I finally ended up getting it to the garage now we gotta go pick that up I really don't have a trailer big enough to pull that do have a semi a few cab overs actually but the only Pro, uh, well, I guess I'm going to have to road on them new tires to a... I really don't like roading my uh, tractors, but, you know, some things you just got to do. It's it's harvest time. Farm Boy is, isn't around right now, if you haven't noticed, but it's okay. I think he says he could definitely help the next few days, so don't worry about that. He's doing fine. He didn't get a concussion, and he's... Well, you might think he's missing brain cells, but it's no more than you he's already missing. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Alright, just enter right in here, right there, yep. Jake actually called me and said he looked at two very clean, either a 7720 and an 8820, and knew I was looking for a, a harvesters. Didn't know I already picked up a gleaner, but... You know, when, man, I, I'm always interested in, look, the 8820 is probably one of my favorite harvesters. Oh, my goodness. Buck has them out front. Oh, no. I don't think the dealership is actually open. It definitely looks like it's closed. Look at that. So we got an 8820 and a 7720 right here. Wow. Wow. Man, do I like you. Probably the only harvester I like more than the old uh, R72 Gleaner. Too bad they're not open. I, I don't know exactly what's going on, but uh, they're obviously closed. They even parked their service truck in front of the gate there. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, luckily, we didn't take our Steiger to that dealership. We took it to Fairbanks. Uh, Buck was way too busy, and he's not exactly... Uh, he doesn't really take on a lot of other type of equipment, like uh, Case IH, I mean. He's so busy with Vermeer, John Deere, and Kubota, and all the other trade-in uh, tractors he has there. He doesn't really take on a lot of other uh, business. What went on over there? Looks like a big monster truck rally. Wow, that looks cool. All right, yep, here's Fairbanks deer here. Hmm, 
Yep. I believe our Steiger. Yeah, there it is. It's all the way behind the harvesters here. Hmm. I don't know. I all of a sudden got very thirsty. I don't exactly know what. Why? Hmm. Man, I'm so thirsty right now. Oh, here we go. Here's our Steiger. Parked it out front for us. Look at them big girls now. Yep, have to say. I admit it. It does look better, farm boy. Sorry. Man, look at that. Holy cow. Wow, that 45-foot draper head is so big, it doesn't even fit that trailer properly. Man, it, does that look good. Whew. Good looking. Oh my goodness. Look at these beautiful harvesters. Hmm. Hmm. I've never seen John Deere's look so good. Looks like, yep, you can tell they're S600s by the way the cab looks here. Wow. Yep, it looks like we. Ooh, look at that big 1400 size tire there. Hmm. We caught call this corn bine? Beast? Corn beast? I don't know exactly what to call this. Bush bine? I don't know. Definitely not light bine. Wow. I don't I don't even know which one I like more. The big duels? The big 800 duels like our uh, Steiger over there? Or these uh, big Goodyear 1400 series? Uh, the LSWs. And this thing is clean. Clean inside. They gave me the keys. Uh, and they actually are really trying to get me to purchase this thing. Yes. Yes, I get to demo this harvester. So, I don't know. I think it's a really low hour demo. It's only... 20 hours but it'll, it'll more than suffice because all we got we don't have very much small grain crops like wheat and oats so I think we can actually run two harvesters the gleaner and this now I'm pretty sure this combine can definitely harvest some corn at least I hope so if they put a corn cob on the side all right so let's get all this equipment and I do still have one more surprise. You have to check it out in a little bit. Before we see that surprise, make sure if you like what this content and you like this channel, make sure you help me out by smashing that like button. Share it to your friends. It does me a great favor. It motivates me to do videos that you guys really want and like out there. Thank you all. I have the best fans. No, no, this isn't my surprise here. But, I have to say, I really am enjoying this Gator. I know they're not as fast as like a Razor and stuff, but I have to say, they are really convenient on the farm here. Oh, 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 no, don't want to put that there. Oh, can it back up? Come on, come on, all six wheels turning. Uh-oh, uh-oh. But our surprise is right over here. So, yes, we purchased a giant brand, one of the biggest grain carts ever made, right here with an American flag flying high. Just love it. So, America. America the Great. Once again. So, thank you all for watching. And I will see you next time over here on some. Harvesting in Iowa. Later, y'all. Thanks for watching. I was going to go to a little get together with Grant, and uh, yeah, this thing is slow. Note to self. Just use the vehicle on the long runs. Thank you all for watching. Later.